Hello everyone, uh, this is Cassidy again. Again, who else is it going to be? Someone else? Uh, this is for Lights, Camera, Action. And the first one we've done in a while. The holidays gotten away, a lot of people got busy. But we're doing a video, well, I am. And this is supposed to be our haul video. What, is, what have we got in our haul of late right now? Well, most people in hodgepodge crochet tend to haul a lot of craft stuff uh, yarn and things like that but there was an interesting comment in the uh, let me see if I can find it it was an interesting comment here oh yeah recent haul did you go on a shoe splurge <laughs> did you recently go on a shoe splurge <laughs> hmm I wonder who that could be <laughs> who's went on a shoe splurge lately um, now you all know I've been on a shoe splurge and um, I think someone wants to see them. She wouldn't come right out and say it, but you know, she did leave a message that said, don't judge me. <laughs> so, I think she's just like, Cassidy, I want to see your shoes. I just don't want to ask. Uh, but you can see I've touched up my lipstick for this, so it must be important. Um, I've, over here along my wall, I have all my shoes that I've been actually buying for about the last um, eight or nine months and like a lot of women I have way too many shoes and I get up in the morning and I look and I go I don't have a damn thing to wear <laughs> what am I gonna wear today I don't know what I'm going to wear and um, the reality is I've got about seven or eight I, I can't wear my work shoes out I mean let's face that you know I'm not gonna wear uh, my work shoes out. I'm not going to wear a, a $90 pair of suede uh, wedge pumps to Panera <laughs> for breakfast. It's just not going to happen, you know. <clears throat> but I'm going to show you what I have and it should be interesting, I hope, and you will see my shoe splurge. I'm actually going to start first with stuff that I've had before I get to the stuff I actually splurged on. So this will be interesting. You get to see all my things. Okay, so let's hold on. I'm gonna, I'll close the, the, um, the frame here so you uh, don't get motion sickness. I don't want to have anyone getting ill. So hold on. There we go. Yeah, you can hear everything. There we go. Now, uh, first off, oop, hold on. I thought I had this. Oh, there it is. There we go. There we go. So first, let's look at my boots. <laughs> and there are a lot of them. Um, first thing to look at is a couple of these I bought online. These I bought online. These are, I forget, oh, these are Easy Street. And uh, they're pretty comfortable. They're the closest thing I've got to uh, a real um, equestrian boot, short of my Clarks. These are my Fugs. Uh, these are actually Airwalks. I picked them up in the Zombie Mall in Pittsburgh. I bought those in uh, I bought those in the Moorville Mall when I was out uh, preparing for Tanya's birthday. These are also a nice little pair of booties that I love. Uh, these are actually Fitzwells. I also bought them online, 6pm.com. They have a three inch heel on them and they're, they're really for a heeled shoe, they're actually quite comfortable. I can walk in them uh, fairly well. And of course, last but not least, I have my Clarks, which I wore to work yesterday for the first time. Uh, they were recommended to me by Shelly and uh, they were really my first nice pair of boots that I bought. Uh, I can't complain. So now that that's done, let's look over here. <laughs> and these are my sandals. And I'm going to show you an uh, interesting bit of trivia here. These were actually, these are a pair of espadrilles that I bought from uh, One Stop Shop or OneStopPlus.com. Uh, 
And these were really the first pair, one of the first pairs of women's shoes that I bought. And I love wearing them. They're actually very comfortable. These, look at these babies. These are my naturalizer. Uh, I've wore these. In fact, I wore these when I got my first pedicure because I wanted to show it off. And they're my platform sandals. They have about a three and a half inch heel back here. And they're comfortable. They're very comfortable to wear and they're easy to walk in because it's a wedge. It's a wedge platform. So they're easy to walk in. Very nice, very comfortable. I also bought those at 6pm.com and uh, love them. These are also naturalizers and you've seen me wearing these before because I actually wore these and said, look, I can walk in heels and yes, I can. <laughs> I've wore these before. I'm going to wear them in the summer. Uh, they are more of, well, I'm not going to go shopping in these. Uh, these are going to be more for like dress when I go out. Hmm. What's this, what's this going out thing they talk about? I don't know. Anyway. <laughs> And then I recently bought these. These are my newest. These are Clark's. Um, again, platform shoe, platform wedge. Very comfortable, very easy to walk in. And uh, the girl who sold them to me says that she has like five pair of these and that she actually just spends all day in them during the summer. So I'm looking forward to that. I'm hoping that she didn't me a fib just to get me to buy them. Actually they were on sale. I only spent $55 on them. So and I know some of you are probably thinking 55 bucks. Yeah they're on sale. <laughs> they're Clark's. Now here are my everyday flats and I usually wear these just during the summer. This was actually among the first pair of shoes I bought. These are from Payless. And they were what I wore most of the summer, this last summer in 2014. These I picked up again at the Zombie Mall in Mooreville, Mooreville, uh, Pennsylvania, outside of Pittsburgh. Uh, I bought these at the same time I bought my Fugs because there was a BOGO going on. And you don't pass up a BOGO. And they were only like, I think, eight bucks when I bought them. I haven't broke them in. I've discovered patent leather doesn't really give as easily. So I'm they've broken in, but I haven't actually worn these out yet. And then these are a pair that were sent to me. And I'm blanking on who sent them to me, but it was someone from the Hodge. I'd have to look it up. Um, but these are from Chinese Laundry. And they're cloth, they're cute, they got a little bow on them, you know, and I'm looking forward to wearing them. I'll probably wear these to work a couple of times. Still got the price tag on them. They were originally from TJ Maxx and uh, someone from the Hodge gave them to me as a gift. So these are my flats. These are just my day-to-day -day flats. So when you want to go out and you got to do some shopping real quick, slip these babies on and out the door. Now we're going to get to what I've splurged on for the last few weeks. And these, sorry about all that tingling and tangling, these are my work shoes. These are the five pair of work shoes that I've bought. And first off are my wedges, my suede wedges. These are what I actually wore when I was trying on all my clothes from Lane Bryant. And these are comfortable. Unfortunately, I got them on sale because I don't think Clark is actually, Clark's is actually going to make these anymore. Or they're going to go to a new style. Then, because you have to have them if you're in the office, I got a pair of flats and these are nice a little stylish because patent leather toe patent leather bow patent leather in the back there 
and last but not least my Mary Janes and I wore these Wednesday and I had <laughs> a bit of foot pain toe pain uh, especially right up in here uh, my toe was rubbing against the toe box they need to be stretched out they need to be broken but they are comfortable as you can see I have a three inch heel on those and I can walk pretty fast in these shoes I really can they're very stable um, I know some of you are right now going oh yeah Cassidy yeah if I put those on and tried walking fast I'd, I'd fall and break my leg <laughs> and maybe I don't know I won't judge I'm not gonna judge now these I had to have these because you need at least one nice pair of nude pumps um, because they're stylish and these are sort of like women's power pumps um, just because they are I haven't worn these yet I plan on wearing these the first time I wear my skirt and that means I might actually wear them on Monday because it looks as if it's going to be wear warm enough for me to wear my skirt I have to get some hose tomorrow so I will try to uh, do that but these are they're very comfortable uh, I imagine I have to break them in. I think the toe is going to be a little uncomfortable, but that's the way heels are because you're putting all your pressure down here. One thing I will say about Clarks is they pad the bottom of the heel and toe box really well. If you're not used to wearing heels, these are the heels to get, seriously, because these are comfortable. Naturalizer is the same way. They do a great job of trying to make it as comfortable as possible to walk in. And last but not least, these. These are my suede platform heels. And you can see platform right there, about a half inch. And these are about a three and a half inch heel. But because it's a three inch, plat half inch platform, it's really only a three inch heel. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> Uh, these are going to be tight. They need to be stretched out. Uh, I can tell you that right now. I love to wear these. These will probably not be regular work shoes. I will more than likely wear these once in a while. These are more like a going out type of shoe almost. Hmm. What's that, What's that again? Going out? I don't, I don't quite understand that concept. So right there. These are, I'm looking forward to these, but I need to have these also stretched out. Uh, Dawn at Clark's here in the Berg told me that if I bring my shoes in, she'll put the stretchers in them and stretch out the toe box and stuff and leave them in overnight. And that'll make them a little bit more comfortable. I'll still have to break them in. And one of the things I keep in my purse now all the time are cut up strips of moleskin because if you're breaking in new shoes or if you're wearing high heels or even like regular shoes I still get rubs every once in a while in my boots and I'm comfortable wearing these boots every once in a while I feel like my toe will rub or something like that put a piece of moleskin on every woman carry a piece of moleskin or a couple of pieces I carry like six or seven cut up pieces of moleskin in my purse I don't go without so there <laughs> there we go that is believe it or not yeah there's a clinking that's my shoe haul and that's just part of them um, if I show you over on the other side of the TV where right now there's the governor and he just waltzed right into the prison and um, he's gonna get his butt handed to him and I like to remind people that no matter how mean David Morrissey was in The Walking Dead playing the governor he is a cuddly little pussycat <laughs> compared to the governor in the comic book seriously uh, in the comic book Michonne shot him in the mouth with a machine gun and tore open part of his cheek and guess what he's still letting the salt on the prison oops 
That was the other thing. She had him at point blank range and she didn't kill him. Um, yeah, <laughs> what are you gonna say? But uh, let me move back over. I'm gonna close this so you don't get sick. Hold on. There we go. Move back over. There we go. Ah, I am coming in foggy. Yes, there I am. I'm in. And you can see the, the Walking Dead's in the background with Andrea. She's all locked up. Uh, the Andrea in the TV show is extremely stupid compared to the one in the comic book. Uh, no, it never would have happened. Uh, they, they do that. So anyway, there's my haul. All my shoes. And um, I'm I'm gonna have to come up with a, I think I'm gonna have to try to come up with a, uh, another video for our next one because I really like doing these videos. I like showing them to you. And uh, how's my wig? Uh, my wig was riding a little high there. <laughs> but that's my haul, those are my shoes. And hey Hodgers, have fun. And we wanna see your yarn and we wanna see what you're hauling. And I hope some of you, I know some of you live on a farm, so you know what I'm getting at when I say, let's see your haul. <laughs> I know some of you live on a farm and I know what you may be hauling. Let's see it. Okay, take care. Bye. <laughs>